Indigenous people use the observance of World International Indigenous Day to protest outside the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs over what they believe is a poor representation by the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs. The residents joined from various communities in the interior region is calling for a review of the 2006 Amerindian Act, which they feel is powerless, and they are also demanding more respect for Guyana's first people. Our leaders are often intimidated by officials from the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs. They have a right to live in freedom from fear. For one purpose we are here, because of that, because the government don't legally recognize our rights, that is why we are here to demonstrate that we are not comfortable with the land problems, we have uh, many problems. But we came here especially today because today is International Day of Indigenous Peoples. And we wanted to send a message. And we want to send a message because the representation that we are getting is not there. Attorney at Law David James, an AFC Member of Parliament, Valerie Lowe, put the struggle of the Amerindian people in this perspective. Well, and the reason for this protest is that we need to change certain things. Among, among other things, we have to change the laws, especially the Amerindian Act, which has a fundamental flaw in that it does not recognize the rights of the indigenous peoples uh, to their lands, an inherent right, and that's the key point, that we have an inherent right to our lands, resources, and territories uh, based on our traditional and customary use and occupation. Most mining businesses, they're not paying attention to um, proper in environmental um, laws. They, they leave a trail of destruction. They then voiced their disgust over the decision handed down against the scenery residents. High Court Judge Diane Insanali ruled against the villagers in favor of a minor Joan Chang on what the Amerindians considered to be ancestral lands. The Amerindian Act is not, it is not helping us. Why? Because there is no kind of protection in that. So we want the Amerindian Act to be amended. And it is not that alone. We will never give up. We will truly represent ourselves. If the government don't represent us, we will represent ourselves as Amerindian people of Guyana. We have seen that from the court rulings. The court have ruled in favor of the minors. And you're not talking about like five, six hundred, seven hundred minors. In his case, in his Sinro's case, in Kako's case, look at the 15 year old Upper Masroni case. Why did the people in Hururu protest, block the road from the Russell Company? Why did the Region 9, where I come from, I was the one who led the Region 9 uh, protest? The residents vow not to give up the struggle until their demands are met. Reporting for Capital News, Kristen Drakes.